Okay, class. So this is the other topic in engineering economy. So this is under depreciation. So the second uh, method of calculating depreciation is the so-called sinking fund method. So take note, class. This is the second part of the topic. Okay. So again, so let us define what is depreciation. So it is the decrease in the value of a property due to the use and passage of time. So this was already uh, mentioned in the previous presentation. And the other here is the terminologies. Of course, the designation of the parameters. So CO represents the original cost again of the property. CN is the book value or the appraisal value. CL is the salvage value or the value of the property at the end of the useful life. D is the uniform annual depreciation. D end is the depreciation charge during the end year. L is the useful life and I is the rate of interest per year. Okay? So, again, the purpose of computing depreciation is to recover the capital and then to charge the depreciation cost to the selling price of the product produced by the property and then requirements of the precision method it is uh, it should be simple it should recover capital so the book value must be reasonably close to the market value at any time so the method used be accredited by the bureau of internal revenue or the bir okay so this method is the sinking fund method okay so we're in the sinking fund is almost similar to an annuity okay so instead of using a here we replaced it with d or the depreciation or the uh, uniform payment of or the depreciation okay so where the future amount is also replaced with c o minus c n or the original cost of the property minus the salvage or the salvage value of course okay and at any years okay so where d now is equal to c minus cn multiplied by i or simply over uh, 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 or if the uh, years or the number of years used is the useful life of the property we use cl or d now is equal to co minus cl multiplied by i over 1 plus i raised to l minus i so take note class that the formula above is based on the cash flow diagram below the slide okay so we have here from zero from one, uh, at one to three uh, we have here d and then up to n okay so very simple okay another is the book value at the end of n years okay so the book value cn is equal to original cost of course minus the depreciation amount during the n year okay or simply the depreciation at the end of n years dn is simply equals to d multiplied by 1 plus i raised to l minus 1 over i or simply uh, replaced l with n okay so that is now dn okay so let us again uh, <coughs> solve example for this topic sinking pan method okay <coughs> Excuse me. So a dump truck was bought thirty thousand six years ago. It have a salvage value of three thousand four years from now. So it is sold now for eight thousand. So what is its sunk cost or the cost that can be recovered due to certain reason? Okay. If the depreciation used is the sinking fund method at 6% interest. Okay, so we have here the given of uh, 30,000 
the original cost plus the life or the useful life of the property which is 10 years so that is 6 plus 4 and then the salvage value is 3000 and then the book value at the end of 6 is 8000 determine the CN okay now solution again D is equals to CO minus CL multiplied by I over 1 plus I raised to L minus 1. Okay. So, substituting values, uh, 30,000 minus 3,000 times 0 0.06 over 1 plus 0 0.06 raised to 10 minus 1. So, the depreciation cost now or the yearly depreciation of the property for the period of 10 years is 2,048.43. Uh, computing now the depreciation cost during the sixth year, okay, or during the nth year. So the n again is equals to d multiplied by one plus i raised to n minus one over i, okay. So d six now is equals to, of course, the depreciation amount two thousand forty eight point forty three multiplied by the factor one plus point zero six raised to six the, since it is six years minus one over point. 0, 6. So the uh, the precision amount now at the end of six years is fourteen thousand two hundred eighty-eight point forty-nine. So getting now the book value at that year, of course, the original cost minus the uh, computed depreciation amount at the end of six years minus eight thousand. So therefore, the value now is seven thousand seven hundred eleven point five. Okay. So another example, we have a unit welding machine cost 45000 with an estimated life of 5 years. Its salvage value is 2500 Find its depreciation using sinking fund method at 8.5%. So we have here the given original cost is 45000 The life of the property is 5 years. The... Uh, Salvage value is 2,500 and I is 8.5%. So determine the depreciation using sinking fund method. Again, so D is equal to CO minus CL multiplied by I over 1 plus I raised to L minus 1. Substituting values, 45,000 the original cost of the property minus 2,500 the salvage value times the rate of interest of point. 0 0.085 and then over 1 plus 0 0.085 raised to 5 minus 1. So the depreciation amount now is equals to 7,172.54. Okay, meaning you will pay or set aside an amount of 7,172.54 for a period of 5 years. Okay. Thank you very much, class. That ends my presentation. Okay.